This is part four of the four-part series on the Haikanashi candles. We've looked at a, the advantages of using Haikanashi over uh, normal candlesticks. We've looked at uh, stop and reverses uh, on how to do breakouts using Haikanashi. We've also looked at phase waves and continuations using Haikanashi candles. And today we're looking at extending the potential profit you can make in the market using the nine EMA. Um, if we just look uh, at the moment, we've got um, candles, so normal candlesticks. So just look at the candlesticks here. You can see red, green, red, green, just a bit of a mess. Let's turn the icon actually on. So if you just make a note of what all this looks like, and we'll turn the normal kind of actually candlesticks boom and nicely smoothed out. Right. So what we're going to do is look at how to extend a, a trade. This is the US 500. Uh, you can see here we've had the, the market opens at 2.30 UK time, pulls back to a, 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 a support zone. And then the market takes off uh, very nice indeed. We can use a few strategies for this. We can use a 15 minute bar reversal and we could uh, take a trade of a break here, stop into the swing lot. Hindsight says we could have made a lot more profit than uh, one to one. Um, so that was one of the things we could have done. We could have also used a, a fractal. Uh, which would be a fractal break, which would have got us in just a little bit lower. And again, um, stop under the swing low of the Iken, Ikenashi reversal or the swing low, which of course would be the same because it, the swing low is the bottom of the fractal reversal. And again, lots of uh, profit left on the table. Don't get me wrong, one-to-one -one trading is uh, really, really good and uh, don't take anything away from that just take the fractals off again so the way in the room that we tend to trade um, for extended profits is we put on the nine ema nine ema is always your friend this is this blue line that i've just put on here and what we generally do um, we can use multi-time frames in the nine ema but we want to keep this to a short and informative video. So we're going to keep it in uh, the 15 minute bar scenario. This works on just about every time frame, uh, uh, under four hours, uh, all the way down to one minute. So for the moment, we're going to keep on the 15 minute. So is the, the nine EMF. Uh, we know there was a potential to take a trade around this bar here. And we know the swing law is under here. Now, using a nine EMA, we can all, always trade a one-to-one. -one. I'll just mark that one-to-one. -one. Let's, well, let's just say we're doing a 15-minute bar here. So there's a 15-minute bar. Lovely 15-minute bar. Nice flat bottom, break above the nine EMA, and we're away. The one to one is a profit take into here. Extending a profit take, uh, we use the nine EMA as your emotion, and uh, your emotions are really triggered when uh, money's involved and you get people pulling, you know, trigger fingers, taking profits early. If you can make the nine EMA your, um, your emotional trigger, in other words, when something happens to this nine EMA, regardless of your emotions and what you think, if an instance happens, then you take the profit or you reduce your loss. So the instance that we're talking about is you are watching the nine EMA. Uh, you may have took your profit. Uh, you may have took three quarters off or took half off and see how far you can extend it. The way you potentially extend the profit is you are following the nine EMA and you're following the nine EMA until you get a candle that breaks below, that closes, not breaks, sorry, closes below the nine EMA. So the nine EMA there is five, three, five, seven, and the 
uh, close of that bar was uh, 5356. So that actually closed under the 9 EMA. So that bar there gives you the heads up that this market on a 15 minute time frame has more or less exhausted itself on this major uh, impulsive wave. If we measure that, so we, we've got, roughly got in here, stops round about 25 pips, 25 pip target. If you had used the 9 EMA, you'd have gotten another half percent out of that, out, out of that trade. So once you're in the target, once you're in the trade, I should say, and you are coming up for 25 pips or so, and uh, you are watching the price action, uh, make sure that uh, you either take your 1%, or if you want to extend your profit, uh, probably maybe stop to entry, move this stop back up to entry here, and just watch and wait until the market tells you you're out and um, you are uh, out of the market, okay? So that's a good way of using the nine EMA. Obviously, that's a 15 minute bar. You could have put a fractal on, of course, uh, which would have got you in slightly lower. Uh, a fractal reversal would have got you out uh, a little bit, just a little bit higher as well. Uh, incidentally, these fractals, like you've seen here, this is on Pro Real Time. They are available on my website on the links down below. They're also available uh, to use from Pro Real Time as well. So that, that's an illustration on how to push the profits using the 9 EMA. Uh, for a Forex, uh, let's have a look at um, this one, which is, uh, it was, is an illustration here. A uh, bit of uh, action here. So we've got the market coming down and we've got a potential 15 minute bar there. Didn't happen. Another 15 minute bar there. That one did happen. And we would have got tagged into that stop would have been under the swing law here. You can see previous resistance round about here. So there's an easy one to one on a 15 minute bar reversal there. The market, um, it, uh, the trade took a little bit of heat and then we were on your way. Again, uh, you could took profit at 1% or you can additionally use your 9 EMA. And as you are coming up towards a potential reversal, because that's your last swing high, uh, you could have took money into here but the 90 EMA said, hang on, hang on to your trade. You hang into your trade, and then the market closed roughly around this reversal here. So that's another way of uh, taking your profit. However, people will argue, well, why did you take that? We are trading under the 90 EMA. So let's just change that a little bit. 15 minute bar above the 90 EMA. There is the 15 minute bar above the 9 EMA. So you take a break of that, stop under the swing law. Again, um, you can see the illustration here of that 15 minute bar there it was roughly about 27 pips. And you would have come out roughly somewhere around here, area 46 or so, one and a half percent. But you would have at least got your one to one. And the thing that kept you happy it, for this target to be hit because we've got a little bit of congestion here only a very small amount um we were trading with the 9 EMA, so you hold the trade hold the trade keep holding the trade uh, that this area may be another area where you want to take some profit off the table um, or you could just use a 9 EMA and extend and extend until uh, you you don't so Ah, right. Oh, ah, right. There's an actual trade. Um, let's see what we did here. Uh, oh, right. Okay. So this was uh, the result of uh, non farm payrolls on Friday, the spike up, and then a potential reversal down. Ah, we'll have probably used five minutes for that. Let's just get it at five minutes. Just quickly show you five minutes, five minutes. 
So what was this? This will have been a fractal, I would have thought. Yes, fractal break the market. Fractal break here, stop under the swing low. Uh, 15 pip stop, uh, third, you know, just about uh, well, nearly 1% up, going for nearly 3% here. And the market's running. Haven't adjusted this yes, be, yet because it went into the weekend and I'm keeping the stop below the swing law here. But as you can see, uh, the market's moved off and as it's got towards 1% up here, I would then start to look where we are in relation to the nine EMA. And we can look at later on how that pans out um, on Monday, Tuesday. But as you can see, we still trade above the nine EMA. We're heading for 1%. And that could be a nice trade. But uh, for the purposes of looking at this, you can see quite clearly um, 15 minutes. Let's take the fractals on. Uh, nine EMA bar. You can see here, break here, swing under the swing law. This is another illustration here. Um, that's a 15 minute bar reversal. A 15 minute bar reversal um, clicked in. Here and you're aware. However, you wouldn't have took that off course. You would have took this one because we had red bars here, and then the 15 minute bar reversal was here. We're coming up to some areas of uh, confluence and stop, and therefore you're using the 9 EMA to be your uh, conscience. This is negated, of course. You would have been out to the market uh, before non-farm payrolls. Um, that's uh, kind of madness to be in a trade when economic news is out. But hopefully that helped. Using the nine EMA to extend your prof uh, to extend your um, your profit targets, if you want to go for longer than one to one. I hope that help and helps, and that concludes the. Um, four part series of Ikenashi with breakouts, using Ikenashi with fractals, Ikenashi with nine EMAs, Ikenashi with uh, stop and reverse, and also oblique supports as well. So, hopefully, that's been of use. Uh, if you want the fractals, uh, then you can go to my website, link below, and you can get them for, tra get them for trading view. You also can get them for, uh, for real time. Uh, what you can see uh, here. So, okay, hope that helped. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, uh, like and subscribe, put some comments in. Any questions, stick them in the comments. Very happy to answer that. Cheers. Bye bye. <laughs>